punched in the face on the night bus. And it shows you what a fucked up person I am. That I am always surprised that sentence does not get a laugh. <laughs> Seven or eight pounds, no new woman. She just got beaten and the punched in the face by this 22 stone man. And my headphones were on, so I couldn't hear what that awful, awful woman said to that poor, poor man. <laughs> That is a fucked up joke, but it's not, because he was 20 stone, but it was all fat. <laughs> it was like being hit in the face with putty. <laughs> yes, the face left an imprint on his face, and he stretched it out. Uh, so anyway, he got, she got punched. And every single man with the ounce of chivalry on that bus got up to defend her honor. So I was sitting watching. <laughs> <laughs> and what ensued was the most goddamn civilized street fight I had ever seen. And I've seen a shitload of street fights. Cause in college, all my friends happened to be neo-Nazi skinheads. I, I don't know what, what well, I, I do know why. They, they have the best cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I need some fuck that people. I knew these guys like they they were Nazis, but they hated like white people too. <laughs> you were just psychopaths. <laughs> and they they beat this one dude, literally retarded. They rolled him up in the rug and they gave him brain damage. And when we were like, why? Why did you do that? They go, well, he needs to know who he's fucking with. <laughs> the irony is, now he has no idea who he's fucking with. <laughs> Defender, just a big, beautiful, beautiful man. Just a god among men. What a specimen. <laughs> I'm, I'm duly now, but that's not unusual. <laughs> To kill a mockingbird. Have we read to kill a mockingbird? Yeah. Yeah. If, you, if you haven't read it and don't get this next joke, I don't give a shit because you don't read. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like Tom from To Kill a Mockingbird, except not, not Dimpy. <laughs> so he got up, cocked his fist back, squared up to the dude, and you looked him in the eye with a tear rolling down. Now we leave the guy helps the story. And he goes, please don't make me hate you. Please don't make me hate you. But you're just the sweetest way I've ever seen anyone start a beat down. <laughs> <laughs> he proceeded, he proceeded to walk 
to die off, dude. I kicked him out of the bus, gave him a concussion, which was we like the guy landed head first on the pavement. But you could still, still heal his fat, hit the ground before he scalded. Like that's how fat the dude was. Also, he was a, he was a gay guy, and he was a chap. It is a weird combination. It's like a ketchup and peanut butter sandwich. It's what? And I'm going to be teased out of the bus, bleeding. These guys are standing at the doorway. Ready to beat him again if he gets up. And the woman comes behind these defenders of honor, these modern Ammonites, and she's gonna tell the fucker off. She's gonna give him what for. And she looks at him and she opens her mouth and her Britishness takes over her <laughs> and she just goes, excuse me, sir, you were very rude. <laughs> Walked away. <laughs> it's, it's not a great punchline, I know. <laughs> but it is reality. And you know why it's not a great punchline? Because God is a shitty, lazy comedy writer. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me do you this. I scare kids. <laughs>